that's the wrong Eric. In San Francisco, Jello wanted the pen. One day, he was reading The Recycle, a magazine of advertising. He saw a head asking for a vocalist. He replied, and the dead Kennedys were born. Until... At just 20 years old, a year and a half after leaving Colorado, Biafra, with zits on his face, ran for mayor of San Francisco. In America, it is true, almost anyone can run for political office. Punk rock star Jello Biafra, who ran for the office of mayor of San Francisco. What do you... some people think your campaign is a joke. It is no more of a joke and no less of a joke than anyone else running you care to name. Jello says since he saw Mayor Dianne Feinstein trying to clean up the tenderloin with a broom, he's decided to clean up her neighborhood with a vacuum cleaner. I will solve all of San Francisco's problems, whether San Francisco likes it or not. Jello's political aspirations faltered. But he flourish on stage, mastering theater. Telling sarcastic stories. Well, they come up to me and they yell, but dumb rich kids usually yell, hey, faggot! Ladies, bye. <laughs> and sometimes fights with crazy lady. Oh, 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 hot, oh. And this is what happens when you try to put Dead Kennedy singing on a Limp Sync TV show. In 81, Jello Biafra wed Teresa Soder, the lead singer of San Francisco punk band Situations. Their Halloween wedding was in the graveyard, led by Flipper's Bruce Luz turning minister. Flipper, Black Flag and DOA rock the reception. Jello was quite a character during his live performances. In this clip, recorded in 1981, we see him stage diving into the audience and disappear for several minutes while random hits talk on the mic. It's like a Where's Waldo, but a little bit more Jello one. '86 was a terrible year for Jello. His band broke up. Who feels good food? He 
He got divorced. He started doing spoken word. And to the Republic for which it stands, I dip it in kerosene and stick it up the ass of you know who and light it. An industrial bomb. Al Gore's wife sued him. Later, nine police officers, three from LA, six from San Francisco, broke a window by my front door, stormed into my house, tore the place apart like you'd see KGB people doing a, t a TV movie or something, <laughs> went through my address book page by page. Within the context of the record, it's very clear that it's not just supposed to tee hee, there's some body parts or anything like that. It's uh, the ultimate portrayal to me, the strongest uh, piece I've ever seen, <clears throat> that says here we are as a society, the me generation, the yuppie mentality, uh, the, the people who would be willing to traffic in arms and genocide all over the world just to make a buck, that kind of thing. Here we all are screwing each other in more ways than one. In actuality, I believe in a free society. Uh, and I raised my kids, I hope, to believe in a free society. I thought the uh, arguments of the defense attorneys were very eloquent. And then I thought they really should be made by Spencer Tracy in a 1930s black and white movie, because I thought the generation just before mine got through these issues and resolved them, and we had agreed we were going to have a true free society with a diversity of expression for artists, painters, writers, poets, etc. I'm just appalled to be sitting here going through the same issue once again. Two months later, charges were filed against my record. A year and a half later, it finally came to trial. Three weeks sitting in a courtroom in Los Angeles watching lawyers argue over not just the supposedly explicit insert by an Academy Award winning artist from Switzerland, my lyrics were put on trial. A huge blow up was brought in and was gone over by experts line by line. In the end, the jury did not agree with the allegations of the PMRC. They deadlocked seven to five in favor of acquittal. But after the trial in a paper called the, the Metro in Nashville, Tennessee, Tipper Gore was asked about my trial and said, quote, I'd like to take credit for it. I accuse you of trying to destroy my career and ruin my right to make a living. No. And, and, for being, operating as a front for people like Jesse Helms, Phyllis Schlafly, in order to drive the arch-conservative wedge into the mainstream. Saying no to George Bush! No to George Bush! When Obama got in, granted he is much more a creature and puppet of Wall Street than he made himself look like when he did all the hopey changey stuff. And also Obama ain't all the problem. He's not all the problem. Soon the black man get in the office. The first thing Thank they do, you. they put some problems on them, bro. First thing you they want to do is talk about the bro. black man. Not the black man, bro. Obama's not the problem, bro. He Fuck this job. I said that out loud, bro. Fuck you. Well, I he say the same thing. You know. Man, by the end of this shit, one of us. Check this out. I don't know anybody who's saying, yeah, I kind of like Trump. Talk to him. <laughs> don't argue, communicate as to why that it's not Trump as much as Trumpism and making racism cool again. It's the problem. Hunt's not dead, it just deserves to die when it becomes another stale cartoon. A closed minded, self centered social club. A Country Bun. Nashville down, set it all aflame. Barbecue those greeds, head make country weak and lame. Burn, burn, Nash Vegas, cleanse it, rinse its soul. Burn, burn, branch it to make it a big black hole. Yeah!
Yuppies! 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 Hello! Look at you! How big is this yuppie part of town? 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 It's, I mean... A whole world's like this. Ah! Hunt's not dead, it just deserves to die when it becomes a night. Paul Singer, like the Koch brothers, his name turns up in an awful lot of the ugliest dark money goon organizations around. So Sam could watch the Uncle Sam could watch the bears in Kodiak Island try and grab salmon and eat them and think, yeah, how can I do that to people, especially women? Next, <laughs> Neil Gore suck. Half a million dollars on some kind of useless land in Colorado. I think he'd been trying to sell for two years, but nine days after he's confirmed, so it should have been Mary Garland's seat of the Supreme Court, he gets half a million dollars. For another guy with a business to the court, a gift not disposed. A closed mind itself, shattered social club. Ideas don't matter 